sitting down here with Eric Thames in West Palm Beach for National Spring Training. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course, you are an off-season addition to this team, most recently with the Brewers, but I want to throw it back to your time overseas, your time in South Korea. Three seasons you played over there, you absolutely mashed. What was that experience like? Uh, I would say it was life experience. Just kind of like being out of your comfort zone and pretty much like a sink or swim kind of mentality. So, What knowledge of South Korea did you have upon signing over there? Did you know anything about the people, the culture, the language? Oh, zero, zero, zero. <laughs> um, I was actually kind of hesitant when my agent brought it up. Because, really? like, you know, like, you're, you're always afraid of the unknown. Yeah. It's like this human nature. You know, he convinced me, and I was like, you know what? Like, let's go. Like, it's time. Like, it'll be nice just, like, be in one spot for the whole year, learn my team. I don't have to worry about going up and down, AAA, big leagues, that kind of stuff. So I was like, I'm good. So I went, and then I kind of fully embraced the culture and the people. And, um, yeah, it taught me a lot about myself and about life in general. Joe won that team. How quickly did it take you to acclimate to the culture in terms of, you know, the, the food that you eat, being able to communicate with your teammates, that sort of thing? I mean, I was never really fluent, so it's hard. I mean, you could say, like, small things okay. to people, but in terms of actually talking, like, deep philosophy, like, there, there's definitely none of that. No. Okay. But yeah, I mean, as soon as I landed, I mean, it was stopped at like a truck stop to get some like noodles and like I'm I'll never forget like me and my American teammates were sitting down and the Korean guys were just eating their noodles and the water was like boiling. It was like literally boiling and they're just like crushing the soup and we're just like, all right, let's do it. I'm, like, And our tongues were like numb. We're like, how do you guys eat this? Like, do you have like calluses? Yeah. And they're just like, oh, yeah. we're used to it. I'm like, all right, I'll just have a few like granola bars and or I'll just right. like wait and like, oh, we, we got to go. It's like my soup is still boiling, literally. So. Like stuff like that and you get used to it and just like learning like what, what kind of foods you like or like how to spell different words and like how to walk in a restaurant and see okay this is a meat restaurant <laughs> or it's like a chicken or right. stuff like that so you learn I mean you have to survive you know. Yeah. Well you stuck <laughs> with American food to start with right? You yeah. Oh yeah. Hitting up oh, Dunkin yeah, Donuts. Yeah. yeah I lived at Dunkin Donuts for a few months and it was just you know what's crazy too like over here like cafes open up like at six o'clock mm -hmm. their cafes open like at nine ten o'clock so if I was going if it was a day game right. and I want to get some food like there's, it was closed. Like Jeez. stuff like that, like yeah. little like inconveniences are just like, I'm used to it being like this, so yeah. now it's like this, you just have to adjust right. slightly. But it was yeah. fun. Yeah. At the end of the day, it was, a, it was a fun experience. Well, on the baseball side, what were the fans like to interact with over there? Uh, the fans were amazing. I mean, it's just, if you've seen videos of fans in Korea and Japan, they're very active. Like you'll hear a lot of them say like, they'll come to a, a major league baseball game and it'll be like, oh, this is boring. Because over there, it's like there's always music. There's yeah. like cheerleaders. There's like a yell leader guy like yelling chants. So each hitter has their own chant. And everybody's like screaming, having fun. And the U.S., like, yeah, if it's like a big game or if there's like a big hit, guys, people will cheer. But there's no like music. There's no right. like energy. Do you miss that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, energy is always a great thing. You know, if you play like in a really fun ballpark, like I was fortunate uh, being in Milwaukee, is like, the crowd was loud, it was always packed. But you go to other stadiums that were just like empty and just like it's just like nothing. Yeah. You know, like you know, like Miami. Sometimes you go right. there and it's just like yeah, it's dead silence. It's like Pretty all right, quiet. well. <laughs> Let's go play some baseball. Yeah. Like, well, you gotta fire yourself up, but yeah. it's all right. Well, you got a taste of uh, Nationals Park when you came for oh, the wild yeah. card game. Yeah. At the most wild time of the year. I know, I know. I'm I'm not bitter anymore, but yeah, like I feel like in the eighth inning we had that game. The crowd was silent, and then once Soda got that hit, it was just complete mayhem. It was so loud. Have you had time to mention that to Juan? No, and hey, you know what? He, he did his thing. He did it. Hey, it's baseball. You yeah. Know? Somebody has to win. Somebody has to lose. You know. So he did his job. Great hit, and he kept going after that. It was like a spark plug, and he kept carrying the Nationals. And um, you know, so good job on him. So world champion. Yeah. You, you can never take that away. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you taking the time and sitting down, talking a little bit about your previous experience overseas, and then now joining the Nationals. Eric Thames joining us here on Mass and All Access.